Okay, here's our tank robot. This is the remote control that came with the original tank toy that I gutted for the uh, controls on that. It has a sound chip. I decided to go ahead and leave the sound chip in there so it kind of sounds like a, a motor running in the background. But also when the treads move you hear squeaking tread sounds as if big metal treads are running. Couldn't do much about that. This remote has a button that every time you push it will change the speed so you can have fast speed for example. That's the fast turn in that direction, there's a fast turn in that direction. If you hit this button, then it's going to slow things down. And you got your forward and your backward. And if you didn't want to rotate on a dime, then when you're going forward or backward, you can use those and it should do a, a bigger arc, see? <clears throat> and all that squeaking sound that you hear is actually coming from the speaker. The tracks and motors itself don't really make any sound. Um, what else can I do? Well, I've got this button here, which kind of makes it stutter. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Now, there's supposed to be a way to turn the sound off, they say, by holding this sound button and pushing this. But it doesn't. It's still there. This one is for a turret turn, which I'm not using. So we'll hear a, a sound. I'll kind of use that like a horn. These, I've never gotten these to do anything. Now once while I was playing with all the buttons, it started doing like a demo mode and just going off. And for the life of me, I don't know how I got into the demo mode. I'll just try poking buttons here and see if we can get into some weird mode. Yep. Well, I got forward, I got backward, I got turn on the dime, I've got uh, slow turn, I've got high and low speeds. So basically, got everything I need. And there you have it. It's the Tomy Pocket Bot radio controlled version with the dual tank tread drive and again this is using two of the TT 1 to 48 gear ratio motors the dual shaft so it's the easiest to find of all the dual shaft TT motors and um, the switch ended up being here on the side like that and I went with the three battery pack so it slides in on a cable because that was going to interface better with the uh, electronic package. And what else? Has a nice new grill. These tracks are the ones that are printed from uh, 365 for their Wally project. You can download the tracks for free from their website. And I'll have a link to that down below. So you can see how quiet it is now. As soon as you turn it on. It's like starting an engine, and any time you run it for any reason, you get a track squeaking sound. I guess they put in that to make it more like a real tank. Apparently starts up in the slow speed. Let's go to the faster speed.